Hey guys, welcome back to our 2022 virtual RV show. Today we're going to be going over some of our mid-sized bunk models. I've got Mitch here with me. We're going to start off with our 2706 Rockwood Ultralight, so let's jump right into it. All right, everybody, I'm Cody with Rangeland RV. I'm here with Mitch. Uh, the first trailer in this segment is gonna be our 2022 Rockwood Ultralight 2706 WS. This floor plan features a front private bedroom with a massive wardrobe slide out in it, uh, sofa dinette slide out in the living room and kitchen area, and double over double bunks in the back with a nice big three piece bathroom. This trailer comes in weighing just under 7,200 pounds and right around 32 feet total exterior length. Uh, Mitch, you wanna kick it off with some construction and features? What makes this Rockwood uh, the best in its class? Absolutely, guys. So one of the unique ways that Rockwood builds their trailers is it's a six sided aluminum framed cage. They have all 12 inch on center aluminum stud construction. Then they use a block foam insulation and then they're using a vacuum bonded process just to top all that off. So they're putting your sidewalls, your front, your back, your roof, and all your slide walls under 3,000 pounds of pressure. Uh, vacuum seals it, then they laminate it. It's essentially the best way that you can oh, laminate yeah, a trailer. So. And there's a massive decrease of any potential water damage down the road if you keep up on your maintenance. Yeah. And the maintenance is, is a lot simpler to keep up on when you do have a vacuum bonded product. Secondly, <clears throat> they're building this on a drop Z uh, frame. So you're gonna notice when we take you up to the front that you get that massive passenger storage in the front. That's not something that you're typically gonna find in a trailer of this size. No, I size. think Rockwood's one of the only ones doing that, actually. That's correct, right? And there's even some mini light floor plans that they're yeah. even doing it on now. So yeah. definitely an amazing advantage uh, for all that additional storage to bring all your stuff to the campsite. Secondly, they're setting the frame on a torsion axle system. So each one of those wheels has a um, independent suspension. The wheels are gonna flex with the road. So it's easier towing on the coach and it's also easier towing on your vehicle. They're also gonna be putting on here a uh, tire pressure monitor system. That is going to um, let you know what the tire pressure is because one of the number one cause of trailer accidents is not doing your pre-check before you're going out to your weekend fun. Um, that's gonna let you know what your tire pressure's at as well. It's gonna also let you know the temperature of your tires as yeah. well. So if it starts heating up or it has a risk of uh, not being safe. That's right. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to mention too on this coach you're gonna find when we go up front there it is a molded fiberglass front cap on the front it looks super sharp um, and that mass and that advantage of having that molded fiberglass front cap is that when they put it on the coach it actually goes right over top of your roof seal so you have your roof seal here and then the cap goes right over top and then they seal it again so it's essentially almost double sealed yeah, that's therefore right. also a potential chance of decreasing or it's gonna decrease your water damage down the road as well yeah that's right um, well, why don't we take you through some yeah. features on this coach Set and we'll start the front. front and work our way to the back. So like Mitch said, you do get this beautiful molded fiberglass front cap uh, with the integrated windshield in it. So this is a frameless style uh, window. So it protects all of your window seals so they're not gonna get dried out by the sun or weather over time. And it is an automotive grade glass that they use in this front windshield as well. Uh, we get our power front, uh, power front tongue jack, standard on the Rockwoods, as well as standard is your two 30 pound propane bottles with your cover. Um, every Rockwood comes standard with a 190 watt solar panel on the roof and a thousand watt inverter built in. So if you wanna use your phone, charger, coffee pot, small appliances, things like that, you can run that off your solar panel and your inverter. Uh, in case that's not enough for you, Rockwood also uses a, um, what's called a solar on the side port. So if you have a portable folding solar panel that you wanna bring with you, you can plug that in there. It's wired directly to the batteries just to give you some extra battery power. We'll move on down the side here. Uh, you can see here, I'll let the cameraman get in this front storage compartment. That's where you can see that drop Z frame that Rock was using. So you get a much taller and a much wider compartment um, just to give you lots of extra storage. And if you can see up at the top there, you see all that aluminum framing. Rockwood doesn't only put the aluminum framing in their, in their uh, exterior shell, but they build all the bed frames and dinette frames with it as well. The one thing I forgot to mention, Cody, too, when we were going over the construction on this coach, too, they are using a 5 8 tongue and groove uh, plywood yeah, floor right. on their flooring as well. So after all the years of use, this is a family model. So most people having this model, there's gonna be young kids running around. Um, your floor's not gonna get worn down. 
you're not going to get soft spots over the years. And when you That's compare right. this to most comparables in the market, they're going to be using an OSB or chipboard floor. Um, another thing I was going to touch on, Code, is it does have power stabilizer jacks that come standard on the Ultralight series. Um, nice and easy. You're not going to have to hand crank your stabilizer jacks down once you get to where you're going. Take it off your, your vehicle, hold down the button, and it's going to bring down your stabilizer jacks for yeah. you. That's great. There's a lot of stuff to talk about on these Rockwoods. So this, this model here has two entrance doors. Rockwood gives you the more ride step above entrance steps. So nice and solid steps that fold inside your coach while you're traveling. So they're not going to collect any road debris or rust. Uh, they're also a lot more solid than your typical fold up steps would be. Mm -hmm. They also give you a strut assist on these steps. So you can see I can leave this step here and it'll float. So it's really easy to put up and put down. And they, again, they go the extra mile and they give you that set of steps on both entrance doors. A lot of manufacturers, you're only going to see this on the main entrance door and they'll use the fold up steps on the second entrance door. Rockwood gives you both. They take it just a step above. Step above on the right. step above stairs. Other thing, uh, just to touch on these stairs, like Cody was saying too, is they do have adjustable legs for any uneven ground uh, at the campsite that you may yeah. find. That's great. So. One uh, feature you'll notice on the Rockwoods is your frameless windows. So like I pointed out on the front, all your windows are frameless, so they cover your seals, so your window seals aren't going to uh, deteriorate from the sun or weather over time. Plus they just, they look really sharp, nice tinted window, um, gives it a good look going down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, Rockwood comes standard with your cast iron grill as well, so you can do, pan or griddle I guess it's called, you griddle, can do pancakes, yeah. eggs, sausage, whatever you want to do. Nachos. Nachos, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know, we'd have to try it. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then another feature is on this floor plan, uh, you get two power awnings. So both your awnings are power, they both have the LED strip light, but Rockwood is really good for utilizing the entire coach um, or Space. as much of the coach yep. as they can for awnings, right? That's right. Last thing I want to touch on real quick, Mitch did touch on the tires. Uh, the torsion axles are a great benefit versus your standard leaf spring. Um, there's no metal on metal contact, it's all a rubberized ride system. Mm -hmm. But again, Rockwood goes the extra mile and they give you Goodyear tires. So they're not no-name tires, they're good quality Goodyear tires. That's right. I'll let you continue on here, Mitch. Yeah, so working our way back here, um, like Cody had mentioned, this floor plan has bunk bed models. Um, they don't tell you once you have kids that you become a slave to making snacks for 18 years. So this uh, this nice back, uh, sorry, outside kitchen over here in the back area is gonna be a nice advantage for you guys so that you don't have to go in and out. You can cook some meals out here. You have a two burner suburban stove top. Um, you do get a 110 mini fridge so you can put all your beverages in there. Um, Everything on here, guys, has a magnetic door catch, so you don't have to use the old style clips anymore. Um, that's a nice advantage. And then everything has also slam latch as well. So yeah, you can just slam, latches on slam the door. You don't have to worry about you know being too hard on it. It's made, made to stand up against the test of time. Um, that's right. Over here in the back, you're gonna find that the Rockwood does have a ladder so that you can access your roof. That does have a, it, sorry, this coach does have a uh, walkable roof. So you can go up there, check your seals on your roof, check your caulking, make sure that everything's good for your yearly maintenance. And then back here in this floor plan, it does feature what I like to call a pack and play door. So you can put all your additional stuff that you wanna travel with. We're talking lawn chairs, coolers, bikes, um, any additional things that you wanna put. There's some more storage under there. That's one thing I'm gonna point out and you'll see it more once we go inside is that Rockwood does an amazing job at utilizing every inch of space in each one of their floor plans very well they'll make sure that if there is an um if there's if any there's a little cavity space, somewhere they're putting a door there. they're putting a door there they're going to finish it off properly and they're going to make sure that you can utilize as much space as possible yeah. so it does have a uh, prep for a backup camera in case you did want to add that down the road just talk to our parts department and they're more than happy to help you get that set it, or set up for you yeah. um you do have a receiver here on the back as well so you can bring the uh, bikes for you uh, bikes for your family for your camping trip um, it does come equipped also with a spare tire as well. Hopefully you never have to use it, but you do have one just in case. Um, why don't we take them on in? Yeah, let's do it. One thing I'll point out too is we, you know, with Rockwood, when you get to the campsite, um, Rockwood makes it easy. All of your, your slide outs and your awnings can all be controlled off of your phone now, mm -hmm. which is a new feature that they've come out with. So the other thing I was going to show you too, that this door actually has a friction hinge on it. It's good up to 700 kilometer winds and no, I'm just kidding but it's good up to roughly about a 30 kilometer wind. Uh, you can no longer slam that door and you don't have to worry about the kids slamming That was a good it, video. Right? Oh, we're not done yet. We're not done, oh. no. Get back in. Okay. 
Come on in. We're showing them the friction hinge. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. So first things you'll notice when you come in this uh, this floor plan, like I said, you've got the sofa dinette slide out. This dinette is one of my favorite dinettes. It's a massive U-shaped dinette. Yeah. Of course, you can fit four or five adults around this table easily, easily but it also folds down into a massive bed if you ever need yeah. it. Underneath the dinette, you do, do get easy access to your storage under there with the uh, with the drawers on the ball ball uh, ball, metal ball yep. bearing drawer guide. <laughs> it's a tough one, right? And your trifold sofa. Um, um, Sorry, go go I was just going to touch base on the other thing I love to touch. The other thing I'm going to touch base on is that the first thing you're going to notice too is this beautiful new port ash decor. Yeah, um, right. They brought this out a few years back. It has definitely been a success. Everybody loves the new colors. Super modern, super light. That's important when you're getting inside of a travel trailer um, because what tends to happen with too much dark darkness inside is you're just going to feel like you're caved in, right? Yeah. Um, That's right. Where let's start, let's start on this entertainment center okay. here. So here's where you would mount your TV if you choose to put a TV in this unit. Um, it does come with a swing out bracket, so you just have to add the TV and you can swing the TV to the kitchen or the, the beds, wherever you want to point it. Um, some extra storage down here below. This is your control panel where, like I said, you can control all of this on, the, on your phone as well. Okay, some extra storage there. And then down below is your electric fireplace so that is a 5000 btu fireplace rated for up to 400 square feet it'll heat this coach up no problem in those colder mornings or chilly evenings and it does come with a remote for the fireplace as well other thing i wanted to add on too and it actually was just brought to my attention that i forgot to mention when you opened up that cabinet door with the control stuff is this coach does come fully equipped with a fully enclosed heated underbelly yeah, 12 point. volt heat pads on your guys's tanks so if you're the type that likes to go early spring dive in get it ready um, or go all the way up until late fall even thanksgiving dinner you're definitely going to be able to, to take advantage of that uh feature and you're not going to have to worry about your plumbing getting frozen and everything like that that's right um over here, yeah, show them I was going to show them this because this is one of my favorite things on this floor plan yeah, as well. Great. If you have young kids, I have young kids at home. Cody has young kids at his house. We definitely have a lot of stuff to bring to the campsite. Um, this is a full recessed uh, drawer, or full recessed pantry area slash uh, storage area, so you can put all of your additional stuff in here. Hang your coat, shoes, everything is out of the way. If you guys start looking at a lot of floor plans in the market, and you're really going through all of these trailers to find the perfect one for your family, you're going to notice that that is one major thing missing. And I want to say almost 90% oh, yeah. of trailers, where when you walk in, where do you put your shoes? Where do you put your coat? And a lot of people will just leave all their shoes in this area. Right. And everybody always asked for the coat closet but it's so rare you actually find it yeah moving down into the kitchen this is the eight cubic foot gas electric fridge that rockwood offers this is an optional feature from rockwood standard is going to be an 11 cubic foot 12 volt fridge mm -hmm. uh, which you'll more commonly see at rangeland rv is your 12 volt electric fridge yep. um, moving down in your countertops in your kitchen are going to be a solid surface corian countertop so uh really a nice finish a nice look but also very scratch resistant very stain resistant super durable too yeah We've got an undermount stainless steel sink uh, with your nice sink covers and your pull down high rise faucet. Nice backsplash on the back that Rockwood does a really good job of. And then looking at your stove and oven, you've got a three burner cooktop here with a, gla a tempered glass cover and a knife block at the back. And then you've got your oven down below, which is actually a really good size oven, 18 inch oven, which is a lot bigger than what you're going to see in the average Absolutely. travel trailer. Do you think you could put a 50 pound turkey in there? I'm sure you can make it work. You just might have to cut, cut it up, up until, really small. Yeah. <laughs> Little cubes. Um, a new option for Rockwood this year, actually, which this is the first trailer that we've seen that has it, uh, is the new ketchup and mustard holder. Yeah. So we're going to be ordering that with every single Rockwood you see at Rangeland RV. It's important. I don't. I can't yeah. eat plain hot dogs. Yeah. I have to have ketchup and mustard. <laughs> That's so. right. Rockwood just brings the comforts of home camping. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at your cabinets, like I said, they all, all are, they are all residential grade cabinets. Solid wood. Uh, door and drawer face construction screwed and glued cabinets and all hidden hinges so Boom. it's uh, it's about Nailed as residential it. as you can get um, hood fan microwave as well that's right let's check out cool. the bedroom 
Um, before we go in the bedroom code, I'm gonna point this out too. This filter right here that's sitting here on the countertop too is for your water filtration system on this coach. Um, that's gonna protect your tanks from uh, getting any type of cop copper sorry, or any additional sulfites in the tanks. Um, therefore, you're not gonna have to worry about them um, I guess rusting out especially yeah, over the just years. Yeah, and your whole coach is filtered water right into yeah. every faucet. Yeah, you feel safer brushing your teeth, showering, everything like that. That's right. So, here we are in the master bedroom. Yeah, so you can see that windshield at the front of the trailer really lets in a lot of I daylight in here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Eh? They do a fantastic job of all their storage. You've got lots of overhead storage. Um, you've got that massive wardrobe slide that I was talking about, which again is very, very rare in this style of floor plan. It's not very often you can you can get a full-size wardrobe slide in a master bedroom this is actually one of rockwood's hottest selling ultralight bunk model floor plans and it has been for years yeah yeah I, to this day people always ask at the start of the year did you get any in stock that's right is there any in stock yeah. right so you got nice drawers but on uh on this side of the bed yeah what's over there you got and a then flip this guy's just going to be your flip down okay gotcha they just made sure that they didn't pull the ball glide oh, for uh, the slide, drawer yeah. for the slide right. right um but on each side of the bed you get a one 10 volt plug-in and a 12 volt USB charging system. Mm -hmm. Over on that side, you're gonna see your switch for your inverter. So easy access if you wanna plug your phone in at night, just flip that inverter switch on and uh, you can easily use that plug. Mm -hmm. And then over here, you see the entrance door into the bedroom, which is which is nice because if your kids are in bed and you're staying up late, you can just come directly into mm -hmm. your bedroom um, campground. This Rockwood does come standard as well with a 13.5 BTU AC on yeah. it as well. And fully ducted, I see too. Eh? That's right, it's fully ducted all the way through and then they do have the in-floor heating um, going through the middle of the floor. Um, I'm gonna be straight with you guys, a lot of people have you know mixed feelings on in-floor heating, but when you think about it, how is your house heated? It's heated the exact same way. The only difference is, is inside of a trailer, you can't put them against the walls because, well, that's where all your stuff is. But what I am going to, uh, 100% guarantee is that you are not going to have a cold spot inside mm -hmm. this coach. You're not going to have to worry about the temperature being colder in the bedroom versus the bathroom versus the kids room or the kids area versus the main living area. Everything's going to be heated nice and evenly. And then with that vacuum bonded process, it's essentially going to hold all that hot air inside yeah. the coach. So you're going to be super warm and comfortable inside this coach. Well, and they do the same thing with their AC system, right? Yeah. I guarantee you, if you walked out into our lot right now and looked at all the travel trailers, you will not find another travel trailer with four AC ducts in the master bedroom. That's right. You just won't. Yeah. Um, and they Maybe do a really... three. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, they do a really good job. You know, a lot of competitors are going to put one, maybe two in the bedroom, yeah. one in the living room, maybe one in the bunk area, yeah. right? Rockwood does four in here. They do tons in the living room and two in the bunks. Um, so you're not going to get any hot, cold spots anywhere in this coach. That's right. Let's go look at the bunks in the bathroom at the back. Yeah, let's do it. So like Cody was saying, the floor plan has double over double bunks. You do have that pack and play area. That's what that looks like under here. Uh, so you can put all your additional stuff that you want to bring with and you to the campsite. that'll clip up at the top too when you fold the mattress over. That's right, so you can clip it up. It'll stay up while you're traveling. USB ports um, in the bunk area as well as plug-ins. Each one has a light and each one has a window, which is awesome too. So each one of the kids is not gonna feel claustrophobic. It lets in some natural light. Mm -hmm. um, inside of this coach here, you're gonna, or sorry, Sorry, not this coach, this bathroom. Um, I always love how Rockwood has done a great job with their bathrooms. That is a massive shower. Um, you can move around in there, shower quite easily. And then Mr. Cameraman, I'm gonna get you to go like right on into the shower just to take a look at that um, blue tube. The blue tube. The blue tube. So what that is down there is that is an Aquaview shower miser. Um, they brought that into their trailers and introduced it right around 2019. And the advantage of having that there is that if you've ever had a shower in your trailer that you own now, you're probably used to turning the water on, waiting till it gets hot. Well, all of that water where you're waiting for it to get hot is actually gonna go straight into your gray tank. When you have the Aquaview shower miser, you turn it on and nothing's gonna come out. It's gonna pull all the hot water from your hot water tank, bypass it, and put 
put it right back through until that water gets hot. Once that water gets hot, that blue color on the tube is gonna go white. You can flip the nozzle up or the bypass nozzle and then it's gonna release hot water. Essentially, you're only using, utilizing the hot water and that's the only thing that's going into your gray tank. Yeah, that's right. Um, they do have a sink as well. They do have a vanity, tons of storage, tons of detail in there too. They have toothbrush holders, cup holder in there, porcelain foot flush toilet. Um, so you're rigged to not for And your races. Max Air Fan. I love that feature. We that's order true. all of our Rockwoods with Max Air Fans and yeah. the Max Air Fan cover. Yeah. Um, so if, if it gets really hot in the trailer, you don't want to run your AC or you don't have power, you can flip that Max Air Fan on, crack a window, and it'll move a ton of air and cool it down no problem. And just so you guys know, with the, that Max Air Fan and the cover, that's about a $500 fan. Absolutely. Um, that we bring in on all of our Rockwoods. So. And like Cody said, that thing can suck out 900 cubic square feet of hot air out of this trailer in under one minute. Well, I do didn't you, say that. You said that. Well, oh, yeah. Well, that's what I'm adding to it. <laughs> However, do you remember that one year that it sucked RV Tyler right through it? The roof? Yeah, that, when he was filming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> super powerful fan. <laughs> that's right. That's awesome. Right. Well, that probably wraps up our 2706. Um, make sure you check out our website. We are going to be streaming all weekend for you guys as well. We've got lots more trailers for you guys to watch this weekend. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in front of the all-new 2022 Cherokee 274 BRB. This floor plan features a front private bedroom with a U-shaped dinette, opposing jackknife sofa. You got your three-piece bathroom in the back right beside your double over double bunks. Um, I have Cody here joining me and we're gonna take you through this amazing floor plan. Um, Cody, why don't you start off with some uh, construction and specs on the Cherokee product? Yeah, so the 274 BRB comes in at about 31 and a half feet long, bumper to hitch. Um, and comes in with a dry weight of 6,100 pounds. So it's great for your typical half ton truck. Uh, it's gonna tow real nice behind that. Diving into some construction on the Cherokee, the Cherokee does a really good job of going the extra mile when it comes to construction. What Cherokee does that's different than everybody else is their construction behind the wall is gonna be 12 inch on center throughout the entire trailer. In a lot of comparable models, you're gonna see 16, 18, 16, inch, on 18 center, inch on center, um, whereas Cherokee's doing 12 inch on center studs all the way through. The other thing that they do above and beyond the competition is the plywood floors, right? Yeah. It's 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor, which is a big step up compared to a lot of manufacturers you're going to see are still using uh, OSB or Chip chipboard board floor. floors, yeah. which, you know, we've all seen can tend or tends to lead to soft floors down the road, right? The one thing I want to touch on too with that floor is that Cherokee's so confident, that's why they back it with a 25-year warranty. Yeah, it's a great point, right? It's a great point. Why don't we um, run through some features on the outside of this Cherokee? Absolutely. Perfect. I will, uh, do you want me to take? Yeah, start take up here. Here, we'll start at the front. So <clears throat> on this uh, this Cherokee, this is a limited. So the Cherokee limited product has an aluminum siding on it. Um, we're gonna take you through a black label later, but it does come equipped with a power tongue jack. You're gonna have two 20 pound propane tanks as well. It does also feature the juice pack on it. So it does have a battery disconnect, which is definitely handy. Uh, when you go to store your trailer after you've done your camping trip, you flip that switch off and no, um, there's gonna be no draw on your battery so that when you come back to it, you're still gonna have charge in your battery. And then you're also going to have, combined with that juice pack, is a 50 watt solar panel. Yeah, that's right. right. <clears throat> so that's from the factory with that. That's just uh, stock from the factory when you purchase one here at Rangeland RV. You have a full size, beautiful power awning, uh, blue LED strip so it can light up your camping area. They do a really nice job with uh, just that flashy blue color. It definitely yeah, is it an eye really catcher. Yeah, that's right. Um, like we said before, let's show them this here real quick. Actually, Mitch. yeah, good point. So Cherokee switched last year to this black automotive glass door, which looks really sharp. Um, again, it's it, it looks sharp going down the road, and but it's also useful, right? Like you can, there's a window in the door, so people can't necessarily see in your trailer, but you can see out. Yeah. So it's it's really handy that way, and then you have an option to add a shade in that window too. That's ready. It's prepped for it if you want to do that. The other nice feature that Cherokee's doing on all of their product is the uh, more ride flip down stairs. So these are totally adjustable stairs. They're nice and solid on the ground you can al also adjust these legs if you want just by the touch of a button yeah if you're on a slope down definitely but, handy yeah nice and solid big upgrade from um, the traditional the trailers older. better got go. it yep we got it perfect 
Moving down the trailer, we've got uh, the outside kitchen on the Cherokee. Cherokee's really good at putting an outside kitchen on every single floor plan that they possibly can. Including um, even couples coaches. Yeah, that's right. right. They're really like good 23 at 23MK. So on the Cherokee, you get the pull-out cooktop, two-burner cooktop. You get a little outside uh, bar fridge here, 110 bar fridge. And then the hit of the campground is always the ice maker. Yeah. Uh, so you got a little outdoor shower faucet here that you can add water to the ice maker. I've used this ice maker before and it's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. Black tank flush right over here. Yeah. Which when you start getting into this category, guys, of an aluminum sided trailer, stuff like this is gonna be tough to find. And that black tank flush is gonna allow you, it's essentially almost like a shower nozzle for your black tank so that when you're done draining your black tank, you can hook a hose onto here, blast the water through, and it's gonna spray all the walls inside of your black tank, making sure that nothing's getting stuck on the walls because that stuff starts to smell after it gets yeah, stuck after right. a while, right? Yeah. It's a nice handy feature to have. Tell them about this. This guy right here is to make sure that your kids cannot leave the campsite. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you bring in your furry friends with you, cats, dogs, um, <clears throat> you can tie them onto here. And uh, that way you're not having to worry about where you, you know, if you left that. That's bolted right to the thing. frame, yeah. so it's nice and solid. So I can promise you that they're not going to be pulling. Um, yeah, doesn't matter how strong your kids are. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, moving to the back of the trailer, uh, the Cherokees come standard now with a backup camera. So that backup camera, depending on the model that's on there, uh, it's either going to pair to your phone where you can use your phone as a monitor for your backup camera, or it's going to come with a uh, screen. monitor screen that yeah. you can bring in the cab of your truck so you can always get that view behind you when you're backing into the campground. The other thing you're going to get on all the Cherokees from Rangeland RV is your flip down rack. What's the weight, uh, cargo carry capacity on this cargo rack? Car cargo carrying capacity on this flip down rack is actually about 250 pounds yeah um, we recommend that when you get to your campsite that's when it's gonna be the most useful you can flip it down you can throw your firewood on there the kids bikes a generator yeah it's great um, for just storing extra stuff yeah right? if you guys are going to travel with it just make sure that you have that weight that cargo capacity in mind um, yeah. yeah perfect well, let's head on inside okay show them the floor plan I love this new floor plan with the sofa across from it's the It's a great yeah. floor plan. And you know what? It was one of the number one selling floor plans last year. I believe it. It was yeah. the first year they brought it out, actually. I believe it. Yeah, so first thing you're going to see when you come in here is it is a very unique floor plan. I don't know of any other manufacturer building a floor plan like this right now, but it's mm -hmm. been a, uh, really popular for us. Having the sofa across from the dinette here in the living area makes for a great conversation area. Absolutely. Right? The other benefit is you get this massive window on your door side, so you can actually overlook your campground on your door side, as opposed to having all the windows over here where you're staring at your neighbors. So, One thing I was going to touch on, because you just mentioned the windows, and you guys have, uh, if you've been following these videos, throughout our virtual RV show, you've probably seen uh, the Grey Wolf. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> there's three major differences between the Cherokee and a Grey Wolf. Um, when you're coming from the Grey Wolf to the Cherokee, the Cherokee actually has a full flush um, slide. They do have bigger windows and they actually sit up higher because they have a flipped axle. So you get a little bit more ground clearance. Just so, a couple yeah. little um, no, that's, specs between that's the two. Point. That's a great point. Right? I gotta show them this because this is one of my favorite yeah. features. How cool are these? These are the zebra blinds. I love hypnotizing people with them and then they just suddenly buy the trailer. It's weird how that works, but uh, if you have young kids like Cody and I, you know that if there's strings attached to here at some point, it will get broken. Um, so nice and easy, they roll. You can do daytime, you can black out everything, or you can just let everything right on in. Yeah, that's a great point. Cool. Let's Another, talk about the dinette. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about Cherokee. So first of all, obviously this dinette uh, is very large, so you can f easily fit four or five six adults around this table yeah um, but it also makes into a massive bed where you can comfortably sleep two adults on here mm -hmm. the other great feature about this dinette that I love is these drawers so these are 40 inch dinette drawers that you get on every u-shaped dinette in the Cherokee they're fantastic for extra storage for bedding for games whatever you need but every bit of storage counts right absolutely and in most comparables compared to the Cherokee in their category you're gonna find that you're gonna have under your dinette with the comparables in the market they gotta lift that piece of wood up rest it on the back of yeah. your head, put that flashlight in your mouth and try and find whatever it is you're looking for. Or you get a door and you have to crawl underneath. Yeah, send your I kids usually send underneath. my kids. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Awesome. Uh, moving down the trailer here. So what we're going to see beside the dinette is our refrigerator. So this is a 11 cubic foot. Am I correct? Mitch? That's correct. Yeah. 11 cubic volt. foot, 12 volt fridge. So again, 12 volt. So it'll run off your batteries powered from the uh, solar panel on the roof. Um, just uses an extra supplement there, but fantastic fridge. You get lots of space in here compared to the six or eight cubic foot gas or electric fridges that are out on the market. Just get all that extra space, which is great. Once they remove the components out of the fridge that is used for propane, they, it actually does a lot for a lot more space. Yeah, so. that's right. And then moving down, you have this massive walk-in pantry. I'll let the camera get in there because that's fantastic. Again, storage is everything when you're packing up to travel down the road for weeks at a time. So having this extra walk-in pantry is, uh, is definitely a huge benefit. Moving down, we've got our double over double bunks uh, with a flip out ladder that comes installed. Each bunk bed has its own window. Each bunk bed has its own light and each bunk bed has its own USB and power port. So that's yeah. super handy for iPads and things and phone chargers and things like that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> the one thing I do love as well about this ladder is it's fixed. So you don't have to worry about your kids trying to latch it on somewhere and they're gonna fall off of it, right? It's yeah. That's a great um, point. Fix right in there. Let the cameraman peek in the bathroom there. So you get your full three-piece bath with the Cherokee foot flush toilet um, and a Max Air fan in the bathroom too, which Mitch, you love those Max Air fans. I do, Mitch. Show cameraman, you be careful. That thing will <laughs> suck you right through the roof. <laughs> That's what happened to Tyler last year. <laughs> so that above the cameraman's head, if you got a glimpse of it, <clears throat> it's called a fantastic fan. The thing that I love about it is that they can move 900 cubic square feet out of this trailer in under one minute. It is amazing for those days that you are super, super hot. Uh, you come back in your trailer and you know when it's boiling hot, you open up a window, preferably one in the living room area, crank it on to level four within about one or two minutes, you're laughing. It'll bring the temperature of the trailer back to normal so you won't have any more hot air yeah they work fantastic <clears throat> i'm going to take you through here the kitchen area um i want to point out a couple things that i love that cherokee has done is they always do a really nice job with making it feel more comfortable and residential almost like your house so you're having the full drop down faucet you have your soap dispenser right there then they do an under mounted barn style black stainless steel sink so you can fit all your pots and pans I in there you can sink. actually clean them right it's a great feature um the other thing too we'll go over um the difference is once we go to the black label, um, but they do a press membrane board that's fully wrapped, so you're not gonna have tea mold like you're gonna find in some comparables out there. Um, you don't have to worry about getting water all over in this area. Everything is sealed for you and it's not gonna peel or, or get wrecked. <clears throat> other thing too, when I was talking about details, stuff like this guys, you're not gonna find in other trailers that you're looking at in the market in this category. It's stuff like your uh, magnetized cutting board that will fit right over that tempered glass stove cover so you get more additional prep space. A lot of my clients are saying, Mitch, I love it, but it doesn't have enough counter space, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be honest with you guys, we get as creative as we, as we can with these floor plans, but we're limited to the amount of space to work with. Um, so that's why they come up with creative solutions just like this. I'm just gonna set that back there. Then you have a tempered uh, glass stove cover and they do offer a three burner stove as well as an additional oven underneath. So you definitely have all the tools you need to cook all your favorite meals while you're out there at the campsite. As well, microwave, hood fan. I know that steaming is a big thing nowadays that people like to yeah, do, right. they steam a lot of food. So that's gonna remove any of the condensation from the cooking coming up. Um, another thing to point out too is over top of this area because you can see this is the espresso dark cabinetry. A lot of people, it's a 50-50 split. People love them. I, I, I see actually more people loving them yeah. than not loving them. But, you know, people worry too because it is dark cabinetry. They do things that are creative, such as like this um, skylight. skylight right here. And then you can also have the option to pull your shade over top if it's too much light. So they're definitely thinking outside of the box when they're building these. Yeah. Uh, Code, why don't you take Pretty us cool. with the uh, entertainment area? Yeah, so over here, first of all, we're going to have our stereo that is Bluetooth capable. So you can pair your phone to this and connect it with your outside speaker so you can sit around the campfire outside and control the music from your phone which is really handy um, down below here we've got our electric fireplace so these fireplaces are fantastic and so many people say oh, I don't need a fireplace when I'm camping but you'd be surprised if you're plugged in at a site with power um, this fireplace is rated is 5,000 BTU and it does 400, 400 cubic square feet square feet um, minutes yeah so it's it's great for the you know May long weekend September long weekend when you wake up in those mornings where it's chilly too 
two, three, four degrees outside. Kick this fireplace on, it's a great source of dry heat. You don't have to run your furnace to heat up the trailer and it's nice and cozy. And you can even have the fireplace on without heat if you just want some ambient lighting, it's really nice. Um, coming over here, I'm not sure if the cameraman can come in here and see it, but this is where your battery monitor uh, panel is right here where it'll tell you the voltage of your battery. You got your battery disconnect that Mitch was talking about down below. And then this is Cherokee's new uh, control panel. So you've got all your tank monitors there. You've got your slide out and awning switches um, and your light switches there as well. The thing I wanted to point out too with their new uh, monitor is you don't have to press the button anymore to see where the tank levels are yeah, sitting that's at. Good point. It will automatically show you the lights fill up themselves. Uh, definitely handy because I know sometimes if you're like me, I forget to check uh, <laughs> on my trailer and then I have to go up and press the button like oh she's full I forgot to check it's it's gonna be a constant reminder that's right and then coming in the bedroom so what we've got here is we've got a queen size bed in the bedroom and it's nice it's private bedroom closed door um, you got good size wardrobe on both sides of, of the bed plus some cabinets over top and then of course we also have some storage under the bed as well so this is storage that can be accessed from outside the trailer or from inside the trailer underneath the bed. And then one thing I love about this floor plan is they've added a closet here. So you've got one closet with a door on it and then shelves down below. Um, you can make this a coat closet if you want. You can add some hanging shell or some hanging uh, shelves, racks in there. Yeah, so you can hang jackets or you can leave them as shelves, whatever you want to do. But again, storage is everything. Got nice windows on both sides of the bed. Both of these windows do open so you get a really nice cross breeze through this bedroom as well. Mm -hmm. Let's awesome. head back out into the living room. Well, that probably wraps up the 274, hey? That's right. Yeah. So we're gonna take you guys over now to uh, the Cherokee Black Label model, and we'll go over some um, features on that coach. Yeah, a little bit different floor plan and a Black Label. So we'll uh, head over there now, we'll see you over Sounds there. Sounds good. All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're now out front of the 2022 Cherokee. This is the 264B, no. DBH. 264DBH BL. Yeah. What does DBH BL stand for? Um, double de, bunk. De hubba de bubble. De hubba de bubble. Yes. Double bunkhouse black label. Double bunkhouse label. black label. Um, Mitch, do you want to maybe jump in before we go into this floor plan? Do you want to touch quickly on the differences between the Cherokee Limited and the Cherokee Black Label? Absolutely. So there's a few little differences. Um, the major differences that you're going to see when you're jumping from the Limited to the Black Label is obviously behind me this beautiful fiberglass finish. So you're going to have a fiberglass um, exterior on this. They do complement it very well with your um, tinted black frameless windows as well, which I'll show you just right over here. And then you are going to have a couple other additional upgrades which we'll touch on once we get inside in the kitchen area and the bunk area but essentially what yeah. they're doing is they're giving you a more comfortable mattress in the bedroom and thicker bunk mattresses as well for the yeah, kids. Yeah that's right. So and this this fiberglass is a big upgrade I mean especially in Alberta here uh, where we get pummeled with hail yeah. quite often right obviously this is going to be very hail resistant whereas the aluminum exterior walls they are susceptible to getting dense from hail damage right that's the biggest difference. So <clears throat> this is one of the hottest selling floor plans that Cherokee's had yeah. uh, for a very for long years. time, for, for many, many years. And this floor plan actually features a front bedroom with a U-shaped dinette. You're gonna have also jackknife sofa, double over double bunks, and then you're gonna have a bathroom, three-piece bathroom the in the back. Biggest bathroom probably in the Cherokee lineup. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's start on the outside. Yeah, why don't do you some outside start features off with some, can, uh, some features. So just like on a lot of the uh, Cherokees that we featured in our previous videos on our virtual show, you're going to start off with your power tongue jack. That is an option on the black label package, or sorry, a standard on the black label package, I guess you would say. Uh, it comes with two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover, and then you get your battery boxes uh, at the back. And here at Rangeland RV, we do provide you with one 12 volt battery at no, at no charge. All right. Moving down the side of the trailer, and then the other thing to point out is this black checker plate, just to help prevent rock chips and whatnot uh, when you're towing it down the road. Moving down the side of the trailer, uh, one thing I love about Cherokee is their pass-through storage that they do. Uh, on the black label package, you get magnetic door catches. 
Uh, so that's something you don't get on the limited, but you get it on the black label. So it just makes it a lot easier to open and close your compartment doors. Uh, inside the pass-through compartment here, you'll see the solar charge controller. So on our Cherokees, they all come with the juice pack, which is gonna be your 50 watt solar panel on the roof and charge controller for that as well. And then like I said, lots of good storage in there. Uh, one thing to point out with the Cherokees as well is on the underbelly, uh, yeah. they are all, all enclosed tanks as well. That's on the Cherokees, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's something good to point out. Touch quickly on construction. I know Absolutely. we touched it on our last Cherokee <coughs> videos, but let's just run over it again quick. So even though um, it has fiberglass uh, exterior, still built with the same quality and construction as you've seen on the Limited. So you're all 12 inch on center, uh, wooden side construction, and then they're running a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood on your flooring, um, where when you're comparing it to most comparables in this category in the market, you're gonna be looking at 16 to 18 inch on center wooden side construction, and then they're using OSB or chipboard yeah. floor for their flooring, which tends to over time, either if it gets water on it, it's done, or right. if you have small kids, it's like Cody and I and they're running through um, the floor starts to give over yeah, the those years. common areas yeah that's yeah. right perfect um, Code, what are the little green caps on these wheels? That's a good thing to point out actually. So on all the Cherokees you get, it's a, it's a form of a tire pressure monitor system. So on each Cherokee you'll see these little green valve stems. So it makes your safety pre-check walk around really easy. Yeah. Um, what Instead of checking each tire pressure individually, that valve stem will, re will show green uh, when your tires Careful. are fully inflated. If they are low or flat, uh, that valve stem will show red. So it just makes your pre-chip really easy. Just walk around the trailer, give it a quick once over, check for those four green valve stem caps and you know you're good to go. So just an extra little safety feature that Cherokee throws on there. That's that's great. It's great to have. Like Cody had touched on, uh, Cherokee has always done an amazing job at making sure that you do have that outside uh, kitchen. So this does come equipped with a um, 110 fridge, a little mini fridge. So you don't have to run in and out when your kids ask you for a snack like mine do every five seconds. Um, you do have a, um, a grill outside as well mm -hmm. so you can do some grilling and then you do have the famous ice cube maker they definitely everybody gets excited with the ice yeah. cube maker I've had people be upset at like a massive high-end fifth wheel and they're like where's my <laughs> ice cube maker right so Cody and I have definitely put a few ice cube makers to the test over the years and <laughs> these guys give off some cubes like you wouldn't believe it's ready uh, sliding down just like on our previous Cherokees, uh, they all come with the black glass automotive doors now, uh, or automotive glass doors now, so really nice look, uh, very a lot of curb appeal to these, um, but also very functional in the way that there is a window in the door. Uh, people can, you can see out, but people can't necessarily see in because it is a deep tinted glass, which is nice, and you do have the option of adding a uh, shade in that window up top too, if you like. Right. right. <clears throat> you can notice we're standing underneath a generously sized uh, power awning as well. And then they do have that beautiful blue LED strip. People always ask me, um, Mitch, why do they go with blue? It looks amazing. <laughs> no, uh, to be honest too, not only does it look sharp, but I'm gonna tell you something, blue doesn't attract the bugs. Yeah, keeps the bugs away from the door. And bears are scared of neon blue. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Um, on this floor plan, this is where our bunks are located, which is super handy when it comes to storage because you get a ton of storage underneath the bunk right on your door side, right beside your entry door on your door side or camping side. So makes it really handy for things like barbecues or chairs all being right here, easily accessible with massive storage. And you put all that stuff that your wife always asks you to bring that you know the kids aren't even gonna touch once right <laughs> in there. <laughs> Moving around to the back of the Cherokee, uh, again, we've got our flip down rack with a 250 pound cargo carrying capacity on it. Great for things at the campground when you get to the campground, things like a spot to put your generator, spot to store your firewood, um, extra beach chairs or generator. bikes, whatever you wanna put there, right? Yep. Uh, Cherokee <laughs> added this LED light uh, in 2022, which is an extra brake light. So again, just a safety thing, right? Nobody will miss three brake lights when they're following behind you. And uh, standard on Cherokees now is is your backup camera. So that will either, depending on the model of camera that's in there, that will either pair with your cell phone, you can use your cell phone as your backup camera monitor, or it will come with a separate handheld monitor that you can bring in the cab of the truck with you. Just to give you that extra peace of mind when you're back and you're not backing into any trees at the campground. That's right. Last thing I'll touch on too, because I love this little feature, is your little leash latch. Not bringing your dog camping is almost like a sin. 
right? It's like <laughs> That's forgetting right. to give your mom a card on Mother's Day. <laughs> so when you bring your dog, obviously, you know, you don't have to remember to bring that, that dagger that you put in the ground and the leash, everything. You just hook it, hook your dog right onto here. It's good to go. That's right. It's dirty. Perfect. Awesome. Let's well, head let's inside. take them on inside. Now this trailer has two entrances, one into the master bedroom, one into the back of the trailer, which is really handy to having that extra entrance into the master. <clears throat> So one thing I'll touch on before we jump in here is that this trailer has an overall length of about 33 feet, two inches from hitch to bumper, but you still are gonna have a generous amount of inside space and livable space. And then you're sitting at about 6,800 pounds dry weight on this coach. So your half ton truck um, will easily yeah, be able to have size. enough power to pull a trailer this size. So right- Unless you drive a Dodge like Mitch. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Just saying. Um, Right here beside me, let's point this out because it's one of our favorite features. Um, this is your, I always call it a king U-shaped dinette because you feel like a king sitting at this giant table. You can easily fit four adults around here or a family of four, two young kids and parents. Um, it does fold down as well to make additional sleeping accommodations. Um, so if you have a large family like mine, sleeping space is definitely a must have. And then Cherokee has always done an amazing job with these 40 inch dinettes. And if you have younger kids too, they, it's an additional sleeping space right there for them too. <laughs> um, Coach, why don't we take uh, them to the back and we'll work our way more Yeah, we'll flip forward. the cameraman around here. Yeah. So starting at the back of the trailer, you're going to have your double over double bunks. Uh, each bunk does have its own separate window. Each bunk has its own light and a USB and plug-in port. So super handy for iPads, cell phone chargers, keep those kids busy yep. uh, while you sit around the fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with a fixed ladder as well, solid fixed ladder. So really easy for the kids to get in and out of that top bunk. Yeah, right? Take Next the to the bathroom. bunks, yeah, I love this bathroom in the 264. It's the biggest bathroom. I gotta there. point out my favorite thing about this floor plan in the bathroom is you, while you're doing your business, <laughs> you can actually wave to your neighbors. There's a generously large size window so you can see what's going on, make sure that the campground is safe. No, I'm just kidding, it's tinted guys, so they can't see you, but you can see them. Um, they do offer a spacious um, tub shower, and then this does actually have the all new uh, three piece shower no nozzle um, Nimbus 5000 <laughs> and it can clean all body parts at one time. <laughs> That's right. Then you have your mirror, your vanity, your sink. So additional storage in the bathroom for all your toiletries and whatnot. And whatnot. I love right. saying that. <laughs> um, moving into the, the kitchen. kitchen. So one thing you're going to notice on the black label package right off the bat versus the limited package on the Cherokee. The black label, you do get solid surface stone countertops. So uh, really nice touch. Uh, you get the same black stainless steel sink and the same high rise faucet as you do in the limiteds. But this, these stone countertops give it a really nice nice residential feel you know what that is right that's also a sink a, cover a, no it's a, also an additional security feature yeah. so if someone breaks into your trailer and you have this ready to go <laughs> that's great eh? but yeah it gives it a nice residential touch a lot easier to keep clean uh, scratch resistant things like that so uh, moving along we've got our three burner cooktop like Mitch touched on in the last video with a tempered glass cover and something Cherokee does just to go the extra mile is they do provide you with a magnetic uh, easy Cutting board. Cutting board that sits right on top of your stove. Just things they do to go the extra mile, give you that extra counter space, it really helps out. Got an oven below, you got some more fancy blue lights on your oven, which is nice. Uh, and then sliding down on the fridge here, we've got our 12 volt, uh, 11 cubic foot fridge. So uh, this fridge, it's a much bigger fridge than, geez, that's really big. Yeah. It's, it's a lot nicer, a lot bigger than your standard six or eight cubic foot gas electric fridge that you're gonna get in a lot of comparables out there. The whole industry is really making a shift towards 12 volt fridges because they are a lot more efficient. They're a lot bigger. They're easier to get. They're less expensive to repair or replace. Um, so the whole industry is making a shift this way um, just to give you that extra storage space. And then finishing off the kitchen, we've got our large walk-in pantry that Cherokee tries to do on every single one of their floor plans that uh, they do a good job of because of course storage is so important, right? That's Big right. walk-in pantry there. Um, we are in an all-new 2022, right? Mm -hmm. um, one thing I'm noticing here 
<clears throat> is that they've actually swapped up your couch. Oh yeah, that's a different couch in a different wow. bed. So you can see here, they've actually given you a trifold sofa. That's Super nice. easy to hold out. I'm telling you, the other, um, the trifold sofa, it was great for my mother-in-law, but now I can put my father-in-law. <laughs> So there you go. You better hope she's not watching this. Oh, she loves my video. <laughs> Hi, Mom. And we'll throw that right back in there. Nice and easy to set up and take down. Um, the older ones, the older sows and trailers years ago were definitely, you needed to pull out the instruction manual and you yeah. needed to have, you know, an air compressor to blow up the, the mattress. So that's right. We got the cameraman over here. Yeah, so these are Cherokee's all new zebra blinds. These, I want to put these in my house, so yeah, they're, they're, they're fantastic. You can have it all blacked out. You can have it kind of half open. It's hard to see with the drape behind us, so you can have them all the way up, but just a nice little uh, get your option of day, night, or wide open. Yeah. Um, I'm going to turn this on because it's uh, an important little feature. There you go. Right here as you can see, is gonna be your um, nice little neon blue LED strip under there. It is an awesome feature to have if you have small kids. Um, it, it serves almost like a night light as well. So you can see her with yeah, the Yeah, we can turn all the lights off in here and leave that light only on. Really sets the mood in here. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show us that fireplace coat. Yeah, over on the, so we've got our entertainment center here. We've got a TV bracket up here. This is the same TV bracket that's on the outside of the trailer. So if you choose to get a TV, uh, you can hang your TV here. Simply slide it off the bracket and go hang it on the outside wall. All you got, you got your cable plugins here and cable plugins outside. So that's really easy. One thing to touch on and what has actually made this one of the most successful floor plans too, is when you're starting to do your trailer shopping and do your research and everything, first thing, or the one thing you're going to notice in this floor plan is that when you're looking at the when you're sitting in the dinette or you're mm -hmm. sitting on the couch, nobody has to actually turn their heads and keep their heads yeah, uh, right. turned, right? Yeah. E the, every seating area in this coach actually faces yeah, that's right. the that's TV a area. Point. That's a great point. Uh, we've got our, uh, radio, our Bluetooth stereo here so that you can pair your phone to that and control your outside speakers while you're sitting around the fire. Upgraded sound touch. system too. Upgraded sound system with the driven sound system with a subwoofer. Uh, so that's, again, something you're not going to see in very many travel trailers, especially in this category. I'm telling you, you get massive value for your dollar Oh yeah, in the charity product and then your electric fireplace so this is a 5000 BTU fireplace rated up to 400 square feet again those chillier mornings or evenings uh, May long weekend September long weekend things like that uh, you can kick on this fireplace and it'll heat it's a great source of dry heat it'll heat this whole trailer up in 10 15 minutes without having to run your furnace so yep. um, and just great ambiance as well Perfect. I love those fireplaces let's take them into the bedroom now lie down on the bed so Cody just went downstairs. <laughs> um, these are a nice little touch this year. Um, you do have the, the fancy dancy lights and then you do have the option to turn them yeah, into reading switch. lights as well. So they do set a nice ambiance. Um, Where's the disco mode? Awesome. Nice wardrobes on both sides of the bed, hey? Yeah, an overhead cabinet. They also use the whole front area so it's curved, so it's quite deep so that you can fit a lot of your um, clothes inside of there yeah, as well. Yeah, that's right. And then super handy, Cherokee does a really good job again of USB outlets and uh, 110 plugins. They put them everywhere they can. I one time counted how many USB plugins were in a Cherokee. This is a 26 foot Cherokee, this was a couple years ago. And it was something like 18 or 20 USB plugins in the trailer. Thank you, Colin Spickler. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Let's open this up. Boom. Additional storage space right here. Um, accessible to, to underneath or I know a lot of guys will do certain modifications as well and there's uh, videos on that I'm sure that you can find of what people are doing. But some additional storage in the um, bedroom area is handy. Yeah. But what's that over there around the corner? Get the cameraman around here. So one fantastic thing about this floor plan, the 264, is this walk-in closet that they do in the master bedroom. So again, super handy for linens, extra clothes, things like that and also right beside your entrance door so quick and easy to get your jackets from outside right? perfect yeah yeah 
and I mean if you have small kids and you put them to bed and you guys want to stay up a little longer around the campfire you can enter in through here instead of waking them up yeah, and coming right. in through there all right well Perfect. I think we that about we got one more trailer in this segment that's correct. and we're gonna head over there right now and it is our uh, survey sure. 276 Legend. the HLE so let's head over there right now we'll meet you guys over there Okay, so here we are in front of the 2022 Surveyor Legend 276 BHLE. This floor plan actually features a front private bedroom. You're gonna have a slide out with dinette and couch, uh, massive kitchen, double over double bunks in the back with a pack and play storage component, compartment, sorry. Yeah. And then a um, three piece bathroom with outside accessibility. Um, so I'm gonna tell you right now, this coach comes in at 32 feet from hitch to bumper and you're coming in at about a 6,100 pound dry weight. Um, Code, why don't you take us through some construction on the yeah. Surveyor? Yeah, so I, I love the Surveyor product. It's it's a fantastic built trailer. Um, the Surveyors do aluminum frame construction, uh, six side aluminum cage, uh, which is great for a weight. It's very it's very lightweight, uh, but it's very strong and durable as well. The other thing is the fiberglass exterior. So this is a fully laminated uh, fiberglass exterior wall. Um, moving on to the underbelly, it is a fully enclosed and heated underbelly and you're also gonna have 12 volt heat pads on all of your holding tanks down there uh, floor construction we've got a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor uh, which is going to prevent any sort of soft spots in your floor a lot of a lot of manufacturers still using OSB or chipboard floors whereas in the Forest River Surveyor they're using 5 8 tongue groove plywood so again stronger lighter uh, much better way to build a trailer right That's right um, yeah the construction on these surveyors are fantastic they've been a great product uh, addition at rangeland rv we've been carrying surveyors for five six years now yeah and they've done extremely well uh, so we're, we're really excited about the surveyor line um do you want to touch on some features outside we'll start at the front here absolutely we'll move start on down front. we'll walk you through <clears throat> so like a lot of the trailers here um, that we carry, we carry all the, the best of the best from Forest River. You're gonna be equipped with a power tongue jack here, two 20 pound propane tanks, and then this guy right up here um, is gonna be your battery disconnect, nice and handy so you can shut the power off and then you don't have to go to a dead battery the next time you pick it up to take it out on your next camping trip. I'm gonna I'm gonna just add one more feature oh, here on the surveyors. Uh, all the surveyor legends they come with the windshield on the front cap now. That's right, uh, which is a great addition. It, it it looks great outside. It's a frameless tinted window, uh, so you can't see them, but it provides a lot of daylight inside the trailer too in the bedroom up there. Absolutely. Um, they do give you a slam latch with a magnetic door catch, so you don't have to uh, clip it like you're gonna see on a lot of different comparables in even this category and right. price point. Um, massive pass-through storage yeah, that I want to point out and then another thing too Mr. Cameraman if you can kind of get in here I want to point out on this this is actually the bed and this is what's supporting your bed so as you're starting to look at different trailers in this category that's something to look at um, they're actually supporting your bed with aluminum framing um, a lot of comparables that aren't putting the money to where it mostly counts are going to be using basically yeah, like wood one construction by ones, right? and one by ones to hold yeah. your uh, your weight while you're on the bed yeah so definitely a great job there um, <clears throat> working our way now towards middle of the trailer it does have a massive it's a great size on full-size awning LED strip underneath it makes it look super super sharp they do give you these uh, solid steps as well a lot better than those traditional travel trailer steps so you're not going to be shaking everything when you come in while your kids are sleeping um, they they also have adjustable legs so if you go to a campsite that has uneven ground it's gonna allow you to make sure that these steps are sturdy mm -hmm. and that they're sitting evenly um awesome little feature code take us through this and yes. what's going on here yeah this is a great outside kitchen so on the server you're going to get the 110 bar fridge uh out here and you're going to get a cast iron gr uh, flat top griddle uh, with the surveyor so you can do pancakes bacon uh, breakfast out there you can put a steak on there if you want uh, that, that might be a sin <laughs> here yeah, in you're Alberta true. you're true uh, in here is going to be a sink we don't have the sink on display but down here is your water port so there will be an extendable hose that will come up and you can use this as a sink mm -hmm. now the other nice feature that surveyor does is these are all metal countertops that's right because you're outside right uh, you get any water or whatever on on the countertop you're not gonna harm anything yeah you just wipe it up it's not gonna get all 
warped or anything like yeah, that. That's right. So, <clears throat> other thing too to point out, right here, black tank flush. So that's a nice little feature. It's essentially like a shower nozzle inside your black tank. So when you hook up your hose and blast it, it's gonna actually spray off all the uh, walls inside your black tank, make sure nothing's getting stuck in there and that you fully have um, it cleaned out. This here is one of my favorites. I love this. Um, if you have small kids like Cody and I, um, you know that if this door wasn't here and accessible from the outside, they're actually just gonna run in with their muddy shoes and track it all through to the bathroom. You're not gonna have to worry about that with this one. They can go right in and out and you only have one area that you're gonna have to clean. Um, yeah, Cody, why don't you take us to the back and we'll go yeah, over a couple of little features on the back. So on the surveyor, you get the flip down rack. We order all of our surveyors at Rangeland that way. Um, great for extra storage space for things like uh, generator, firewood, bikes, whatever you want to do. Bodies, um, you know. What? Bodies, yeah. you know. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, and a tarp. Yeah. <laughs> Put a tarp around that maybe. Right. Um, you do have backup camera prep up there. So if you wanted to add a backup camera, we sell them in our parts department. They simply, simply take that cover off, put the camera on, quick and easy install. You get the ladder up to the roof, which is great. And it is a fully walkable roof because of that aluminum framing up there in the roof. So you can climb up the ladder, check your seals once or twice a year, make sure everything's good up on your roof. And then back here, uh, unfortunately the rack is up, but what this is is storage uh, or an access door to underneath your bunks. So your bunks will flip up and you can put some extra tote bins or whatever you'd like in there underneath your bunks. Super and easy access. We'll show you what that looks like from the inside of the coach. That's right. Okay, awesome. well, let's head on in. I love the interiors on these surveyors. It's amazing. They uh, they go with like a beautiful, almost uh, barn style. Barn style interiors, and that's yeah. huge right now. Oh, I know. Right? It's gorgeous. So why don't we start um, with just the main area here. Um, one thing I want to point out, you're going to notice right off the hop, is the massive amount Counter of countertop space. space here is amazing. Um, like I have a, <clears throat> I have a ton of clients that are always saying, I need more countertop space. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect floor plan, but I wish it had more countertop space. Yeah. Well, look at all of this. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, you get a bar top there too, right? Absolutely, and they're, they're using a press membrane, uh, full wrapped uh, wooden yeah. countertop. So you're not gonna have to worry about T-mold or water warping or anything like that. Everything's nicely sealed for you. Uh, even something like this, like you will uh, take you through. This is a movable front nozzle. I mean, just the little details yeah, that you're right. gonna see in this coach that we're gonna be pointing out to you is gonna actually be mind blowing for you. They do an undermounted barn style stainless steel sink. Um, just so you can see right there, you can wash all your dishes. It's a deep sink. <clears throat> Power port, um, sorry, USB plugins over here. Um, that's another thing that people always ask is, well, that's great, but where do I plug my coffee? That's by? a lot of things where a lot of I... campers don't think about. The first time you're buying a trailer and you'd be blown away at, you know, again, something you don't always look for when you're going buying your first trailer and then you take it out to the campsite and it's like, I have nowhere to plug in my coffee pot. I have nowhere to plug in my blender. People don't think about that, right? So yeah. to have those extra plugins all throughout the trailers is something that goes unnoticed, but really handy. Um, let's, let's talk about first. Let's touch on the, the most important thing in this trailer. Cameraman, come around here for a second. Is it me? No, it's not oh, you, don't worry. Okay, okay. Right down here, <laughs> um, yes, this is the surveyor gives you thing. their own branded uh, bottle opener yes. right beside the sink. Uh, so quick and easy access to get into that bottle for you that, hey, if you're out camping with your kids, let's not lie here. We all we all need a little break, right? right after that long drive, you definitely <laughs> need to use that bottle opener. That's right. Right? Um, you can see there's a ton of storage right here in the kitchen area, which is also important if you're new to trailers or if this is gonna be considered your first trailer. So you can see here, nice deep cabinets. They do have the pull-out drawers and they're not using any, um, you know, particle board or anything like that. Like these are all solid yeah. wood um, Solid wood cabinets, cabinets. right? Ball, um, ball bearing metal drawer guides. That's right. They're gonna give you guys an oven, three burner stove with a tempered glass cover as well for additional prep space. The other thing I wanted to point out too, guys, is like when you start looking at trailers in this category, this is actually not a sticker. Um, this is actually real wall splash. So certain things like that, they've just done a really good job with 
putting in the the extras yeah, right? That's right other thing too a little area to put all your spatulas your spoons and then your knives in here so when we were talking about details that that's where we're starting to oh, get i thought to. that was a holder for your beer bottle uh, it is too, yeah, <laughs> while you're cooking, you're baking in the morning. Yeah. Um, got a nice pantry beside the fridge, three shelf pantry, tons of space in there. You can put all your food and, and whatnot in there, or you can put some dishes in there. The, the all new micro, micro mirror. So it is a microwave, but if you need to make sure that your hair looks really good before you go out to that campsite, it also serves as a purpose for you that. You might actually start doing some cooking in your kitchen now, hey? <laughs> Don't show that to my wife. Uh, the fridge that we've got here in the surveyor, this is a gas and electric fridge, yep. uh, but it's an eight cubic foot. Yep. So the standard size gas electric fridge in the RV industry is a six cubic foot. Surveyors decided to upgrade it to the eight cubic foot, so it is a little bit taller and you get one extra shelf in here as well. And obviously your freezer on top, and then you get the nice stainless steel paneling uh, on the outside of the fridge. Moving in the bathroom here, we've got a full three-piece bathroom, uh, really nice shower curtain actually, built-in sliding shower curtain, um, which is the, uh, finishes it off really nice. You don't have to worry about your shower curtain or water dripping on the floor or anything like that. Um, you do have a skylight in the shower, a uh, fan above your head here, and then all of your tank monitors and everything is uh, conveniently located in the bathroom, which is great because you can get into the bathroom right from this door and check your tank monitors in here. And the other thing you have here is your switches for your 12 volt heat pads on your on your holding tanks, fresh gray and black. What kind right? of toilet is that? That's a porcelain toilet. I told you. That's a nice upgrade, actually. A lot of a lot of our clients um, say that they really enjoy the extra stability, and it's just more of a residential feel, right? Uh, with the porcelain toilet versus a plastic toilet, a lot more support. And I and um, just be straight with you guys when you're shopping out there. That's stuff you're not going to find in this mm -hmm. price point, this category, um, such as like a porcelain toilet. Yeah, this is a right. great. The toilet's actually a good giveaway of telling the quality of a trailer. Right, and the components that they put inside of the trailer. It's true. <clears throat> Let's flip this guy up because we got to show him this. Yeah, right. I promise to all the viewers out there. So that is your pack and play area. That will stay uh, stay up while you put all. Of, you can put bikes in here. You can put anything you want. Essentially, rubber made tote bins would be great. Exactly there. right. So, and then this guy just comes right down. Uh, I know people that actually have. Uh, they'll put their dog kennels under there, mm -hmm. so it's a place for their dogs to sleep as well. Yeah. Spacious double over double bunks. USB ports inside um, each bunk area. There's window on each uh, bunk area as well, so you don't have to pick your favorite kid anymore. Both kids will have their own windows <laughs> fixed ladder so you're not gonna have to worry about where do i store this thing where do i put this thing um it's fixed in right there you don't have to worry about the kids falling off of it and it coming down go take sure. us through the uh the dining area slash uh yeah so in the dining area. so surveyor upgraded all their upholstery this year and i think they did a fantastic job this it's it's a leather type material so it's super easy to keep clean it looks really modern they did a great design on it this year they also on their table they did kind of like a live edge feature almost on their table i thought you had rv Tyler take a rotor to that last night <laughs> to create that for this video today. You would think so, hey? Yeah. Uh, underneath your dinette, you've got super easy access. Oh, there's your bar stools under there too for up at the kitchen counter. There you go. So you've got, these are on a hinge. Um, so you've got the easy access dinette storage system. That's right. So super easy access to there on both sides. All right. That alleviates you from holding it with your head, doesn't it? That's right. There you go. <laughs> Moving um, down to the couch. This is a great couch. Uh, and hide a bed here. So this is a trifold hide a bed. Again, a, a step above your standard hide a bed that's going to be like a single fold with an air mattress or something like that. This bed simply folds out like that. Then you can flip down your headrest, and this is actually a very uh, comfortable bed. It's nice and firm. Way better than those air mattresses. And way easier to set up and take down. Oh yeah, it's so easy. Right? Okay. I mean, that's half the battle, to be honest. There we go. So, working our way to the bedroom, I'll take you through a couple features before we go in there. One thing I also wanted to touch on too quickly before we do that is on your control, you'll see your thermostats and control panels over here in your stereo. Right here, what we have here is our solar charge controller. So at Rangeland RV, all of our surveyors come with a 100 watt solar panel already installed on the roof from factory uh, with the solar charge controller as well. So you can always add more panels if you want to. Some additional storage in this area too to put all your whatnots. USB port down there as well. Look at this door. Isn't that nice? It's super nice. Barn style door. Barn style door. 
Very nice. It's a nice touch. So one thing you notice when you walk into the bedroom on a surveyor is they're actually really big bedrooms and you get tons of uh, headroom in yeah. here too. They're very tall. Uh, even moving into your front cap, the front cap extends very far and you get extra storage under your, um, beside your bed. So you got cup holders there for your bottle of beer that you took from the kitchen stove and opened <laughs> yeah. on the it kitchen there. cabinet. Now you and can bring it over it right here. There. Yeah. If Trevor was here, he'd be freaking out because he loves those <laughs> uh, storage areas. That's right. Yeah. That's Right. Good size wardrobe on both sides, overhead storage, you got a reading light for each person in the bed, and you got drawers here as well. So they do a really good job of their bedrooms. I love it. And Bob the God. other thing that Surveyor does is all of their beds are full 60 by 80 residential size That's queen correct. beds. So if you decided down the road um, you wanted to upgrade your mattress, you can do so as well. Yeah, it's very easy to do. Storage underneath the bed, there's a box of your whatnots that come with the Surveyor. That's your sink as well <laughs> that we were talking about. Perfect. Good. Well, awesome. I think that wraps up the surveyor, hey? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And that wraps up our segment for our uh, mid-size bunk model travel trailers. That's right. So come on down, guys. We are having one of the best 2022 virtual RV shows. We have a ton mm -hmm. of amazing deals and giveaways going on right now. If you want to camp with your family this week, or sorry, not this week. <laughs> Let me correct that because we're in the dead of winter here in Canada. But if you want to camp with your family this season and ensure that you have a trailer, come down, take a look at all our hottest floor plans. We're taking factory orders, and you know what? We actually might even have your trailer for you this year right here on the lot, because we do have quite yeah, a bit of inventory. Yeah, we've got stock. a ton of inventory. And this weekend during our virtual RV show, not only are we streaming videos all weekend long, we also have uh, a ton of trailers inside our shop on display this weekend for sale or for display for factory orders. We've got heat on all of our larger units outside the shop. We've got a massive display on for you guys, so make sure you come on down here this weekend. Like Mitch said get ready for your camping season next year if you want to take your family camping now is the time to get ready come see me guys we're here night and day i'm sleeping in these trailers outside because they're heated i'm not leaving come see me phone me call the dealership talk to anybody we're all here to Perfect. help you okay thanks for tuning in guys